Well, good day, good day. How's it going today, YouTube? Well, I thought I'd show you guys and do another review for you. I'm going to do a review and kind of show off the John Deere Authentic Series by Ertl. There's also a Case International Series that I'll show you guys after the fact. But uh, basically, the Ertl Authentic lineup for John Deere and Case International, they are basically 164 scale precisions is what... Ertl intends them to be. They're really well detailed units. They're uh, come in kind of a limited number, and then, well, you gotta start them, get them, and the getting's good. So, anyway, guys, let's have a look here at some of these 164 scale Ertl authentic tractors. I should say my equipment because they're not all tractors. So, the first one in the lineup. Is this uh, John Deere 8530? And these are completely detailed. I don't know how well they'll show up in a camera, but they've got a pretty well detailed interior. I think the cab door actually opens. Yes, the cab door opens, but I don't have enough fingernails to open it right now, guys. But it does open. It's got a three point hitch, it's got spacer duels, and of course, it's got cab glass, mirrors, flashers. The whole nine yards. And the hood opens on this one. You guys can see the engine. Of course, it's got spacer duels on the front. And that's the other side. It's a very nice piece. These were, uh, I forget when they brought these out now. I believe it was somewhere around 2005. And that's number one in the series. Number two in the series here. These ones are a little bit harder to find. This is a uh, John Deere 4930 sprayer. And they got the big booms on them here. It's actually a very large sprayer when you get it all set up. Maybe yeah, I have to see if I can change the shot for you guys and you can see for yourself just how large the sprayer actually is. Give me a sec, guys, and I'll reach up the camera, and then you can uh, see how big these sprayer booms are. Those are the sprayer booms on the 4930. Like, look at that. I believe those are 90 or 100 foot booms. Something different, anyway. It's pretty big. I'm glad they fold up nice and tight so they fit in the cabinet. Okay, so back to the rest of the details. You've got these nice tall tires on it. You got all your sprayer lines, your booms, raise and lower. And you got all your railings, you've got mirrors, you've got flashers, you've got everything on this tractor. Or your sprayer, rather. The hood does open on this one, as you can see. It's all very, very nicely done pieces by Earl. These are, uh,. But some of the best detail you can buy in a manufacturer's model, unless you go, of course, with a custom piece, which we all know what those things cost if you if you're any kind of farm toy collector. Okay, number two in the series, or number three rather, guys, in the series is the uh, S690 John Deere combine. This is a really nice piece. These are huge combines. They come with. I don't have the headers in front of me right now, but the headers on these are even, are even wider than what I can get in the full camera shot. I, I believe they're a 25 or 30 foot grain platform, and I think it's a 16 or 20 row corn head, I forget right now. This has all the same, de all the same details. Very well detailed cab interior, complete with cab glass of course. It's got fold out mirrors on it. It's got all the little details. These steps rotate in and out of the way. And of course, the auger comes out. Unload auger. I think this back panel comes out as well. Yeah. And there's a little ladder inside there, guys. I'll see if I can't get it out for you. It comes out with two so you can do your service jobs. There you go. And they even have steerable axles on all these pieces of equipment. So the rear tire steer on the combine. 
very nice detailed piece and another nice little detail they added is the feeder house raises and lowers. So that's really neat. Earl's really stepping the game up with their 164 scale. At least with the authentic tractors anyway. They're very... I don't know why I keep saying tractors with the full line of equipment. But anyway, Erdl's really keeping the detail up with uh, their Authentic series. That's number three in the series, guys. The number four is the John Deere 4450s. Now, they had released a regular version, and then there's a chase version. I think the four-wheel drive is the chase version. Actually, maybe it's the two-wheel drive is the chase version. You know, Erdl made a mistake on these. On the two-wheel drive version, that's the drive shaft and transfer case on the bottom, so that makes the two-wheel drive was the chase unit. So these are really nice pieces as well. The cab doors don't open on these just because they're so small. They've got your mirrors, your lights, flashers. They've got three-point hitches on them. And you see the four-wheel drive has a little bit different tire on the back. It's a little bit taller and a little bit fatter. These, of course, all come complete with cab glass, full interiors, steerable front axles, and the whole nine yards like every other piece in this series. So Erdl's really keeping their, their detail. This is number four. These are the fourth in the series. Now Erdl has just released the fifth in the series. It's the uh, John Deere 44 or 4840. It comes out in um, November. So when I get one, I'm sure you'll make an unboxing video for you guys, and you guys can see it. Anyway, guys, that's the green power equipment. Now let's get some red power out. Hang on a sec, guys. I gotta pull out of the cabinet. Okay guys, so here's the Red Power Authentic lineup from Ertl. Now, I have every piece so far in the John Deere lineup. I'm missing one in the uh, Case International lineup. It's the first unit. It's a uh, 7088 Case IH Combine. Really nice piece. And you just gotta find one online for a decent price. They're really collectible. They sold real fast, so I didn't get the chance to pick that one up. But when I come across, I'm gonna get it, and then I'm gonna I'll have both John Deere and Case International the full lineup. So anyway, but number two and up I have. So number two in the lineup is the 6088, which is basically the 7088. Uh, it's it's a younger sibling. So we'll start. It's got the raisable feeder housing. It's got the little hydraulics on the bottom. Very nicely detailed cab interior, complete with cab glass. Got all the mirrors, flashers, railings, uh, steer steps. It's got the hopper extension on the top. You, then you can even, if I can get it in the shot, it's got a window into the cab so you can see how full your grain tank's getting. It's got these nice duals on it. It's got all the railings around the back. And of course the rear wheels are steerable. Then the auger, of course, swings out. It's a really nice piece by Riddle. You got the chaff separators. They do the chaff spreaders rather. They uh, they rotate, and it's got a rear hitch on as well for pulling the headers down down the road or across the field or what have you. The headers are in the box. I keep the boxes for my authentics and then my toy farmer tractors, all my special edition stuff. The regular ones or stuff I've cut for customers, I need to just throw them out. Next here we have a, this is number three in the series. And this is the um, 450HD Case International Steiger. This of course has the mirrors, lights, flashers, detailed cab interior. I don't remember if the door opens or not. I think it does. Yeah, it will open, but I don't have a fingernails. Got nice jewels on it. I can't remember if this hood opens. Yes, the hood does open on it. See all the turbo pipes and all that jazz. Got front weights on it. And there's the cab with the cab glass. And this one features a three-point hitch as well. Very nice piece. Next 
next we have the Authentics number four. It's got the little, I know it's upside down for you guys right now. Let me flip it around and you guys can see it. It's still upside down, but maybe I had it right the first time. Either way, you guys know what I'm saying. It's the nut, this, They've all got the imprints on the bottom side. So they say, you know, this is number four. So it says Case of the National Authentics number four. So this is the 7140. It's got duels on the back, three point hitch, cab glass, fully detailed interior. This hood does open, it just folds front, which is a little bit difficult to tell. It's got front fenders, front weights, and it's got the only thing uh, I wish they did is it had uh, the tire treads matching the front to the rear. You can actually pull. Remember reading on the Toy Tractor Times forum board, you can take a set of John Deere 95 Combine tires, stick them on these rims, and they'll match the back treads if you're really that picky. And there's number five in the series. It's essentially the same as the 450 HD, but it's a Case IH Steiger 350. But they call these the road track, because they've got the skinny tracks on the back. So this is a, a quad track design, but it's for road crop row crop work so it's got the same details three point hitch flashers mirrors cab glass full detail interior and on the articulate four wheel drives guys in the articulate you can see the hydraulic cylinders go back and forth which is a nice detail you usually only find that on custom pieces and, uh, yeah so fully detailed interior track system of course everything turns hood opens And the final one is the same as the same idea as the 4450s. It's these uh, Case 1170s. 1170s, I believe they were. Yes, 1170 demonstrators. There's one that's the Black Knight, and there's a gold demonstrator. They're basically the same tractor. They're just a little bit different paint scheme because Case IH had their. Uh, Case always did have a pretty neat idea for doing their demonstration. They do like a Black Knight idea or International Black Knight used to have gold demonstrators. That was pretty neat. So these are uh, oh, much the same details. You got steerable front ends, full detailed interior. You got three point hitch on the back. Raises and lowers, steerable front ends. All very nice pieces and you can still pick up these online. You can pick most of these pieces up either from a dealer or on eBay. And they have not announced the 7th edition to this lineup yet. But when I find out, I'll guarantee you guys I'll get it. Anyway guys, if you liked my little review on the Ernal Authentic lineups, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice night. And I want to say thanks again to all my subscribers. You guys are the reasons why I do YouTube. Take care, guys. Have a good one.